Yo, what I guys, we're back here for another episode of Batman the Animated Series. Today we got Season 1, Episode 31, The Cape and Cow Conspiracy. Okay, last episode we had uh, the Dream episode. It was basically the Mad Hatter came back and he tried to give Bruce everything he wanted so he could stay out of his business. So he put him in a dream where he's married to Selena Kyle. His parents are alive. He's the owner of the company. You couldn't ask for more. You could not ask for more. And you know how Bruce is. He doesn't want to live a lie. If it if it's not real, it's not real to him and he doesn't want it. Even if it's at all this. So he ended up escaping. Not going to say how. <clears throat> and the Mad Hatter just broke down crying, man. He's like, why can't you leave me alone? Honestly, I feel it, bro. <laughs> this is the last episode before we go into the movie. I will be reacting to the movie and I will be posting it. Thank you guys for the appreciate it. Let's go. instructions you will find you've come to the right place mr mcwarter you won't be able to find me just follow the sound of my voice i ain't the riddler if you're my contact what's the countersign patience patience all your questions will be answered dear boy if you'll simply follow the runner light in the middle of the night at an abandoned like whatever facility nah bro i'm good I don't know if that's my boy Edward Nigma yet, so I'm not gonna give him no props. He was supposed to pick up and deliver a donation. A diplomatic pouch containing seven hundred and fifty thousand dollars in barrels. Damn. Currency. Why did we just leave that to one person? I feel like that's like a group effort, like like at least a partner, bro. Wormwood. The interrogator. The guy who specializes in using death traps to pry information uh, from his victims. I've never heard of this man. Terrific. Right now, though, we're not even sure he's in town. But I think I know which one of Wormwood's associates might be able to give me that information. Kind will do anything for a free meal. Calls him anything for a free meal? Come on, buddy, really? In Gotham? Meals are like 20 cents. Baron Vaklov Yeltsik. This is a rare pleasure for me. Unaccustomed as I am to being sought after. <laughs> I want information from you. By the way, I hope you're not afraid of heights. Hey, come on, man. <laughs> you haven't even asked the question yet. I've told you all I know. See what I mean, bro? What like, you want? Let me down. come on, bro. Just really? Thing. You take a vacation somewhere far away from Gotham City. I start doing this to your other villains, bro. Like your real villains, you know, the ones that the killing masses. I want the Batman's cape and cowl, and I want you to get them for me. So now I'm good, G. <laughs> That's a bad man. I must know. What do you want them for? If you will tell me how you got those bearer bonds away from the International Relief Consortium. All right. I'll get you the Batman's cape and cowl. That won't be difficult. He is only human, after all. That's what they all say, bro. Hey, come on, man. You're another human. We can't be disrespecting humans. I figure it might come in handy. It might get you in trouble with the mayor. Let me worry about the mayor. Wait, so that was the first time the bat signal was used? And children toot their horns a lot. A damsel's pleas shall come to naught. Do you know what it means? Uh, I mean, assume, I assume he's a poet. <laughs> Looking for someone, Batman? Sorry, you won't find me in there. However, you will find. Trap. Oh, there is a damn little You have approximately one minute. Yeah. Save woman. What is she's fake? Ah, she looks kind of real to me. Oh. Hey, 
You can't be you can't be making me look stupid, bro. The first apparatus. The trap at the old railway exhibit. Yes. He beat it. So there will have to be others? He's like, why do I care, bro? Just get the job done. Oh, I will. And once you have what you want, you must tell me why well. What a hung up too. That man's talking too much. Stand side by side with John Wilkes Booth. Oh, that, that was a hard bar. A plan uncouth. I saw. Did I see Jack the Ripper? That's it. Come right in. It's uncovering a twenty thousand watt halogen bulb. I don't actually know how hot 20,000 watts make a room. I'm more confused why they have that here. Because <laughs> no way you just snuck this into like a facility. Do you suppose it will work? Oh, that doesn't do way more than that. Trigger the release of a toxic nerve gas from a tank in the ceiling. I hate this guy. <laughs> you win. <laughs> I'm not that stupid. Ah, nothing like a breath of fresh air, eh, Batman? I wonder if you would put those down neatly over here. A second <laughs> mask. Hey, the mask bandit? You got my certified check. I have indeed. Uh, but first, what did you do with those bonds? <laughs> Say hypothetically after every sentence. An agent of the Kyrian Emirates will get the bonds from a locker at Pan Europa Airways tomorrow. <laughs> I am going to wear them. This guy's a fan. Oh, wait. Wait. From the day you first walked in here. No, bro. That's different. <laughs> I have to give it to him. That was a great twist, man. Because I forgot for that. I'm like, how are they they're going to have a third run in? Like, damn, how long is this episode? Hey, that was a gun sound. <laughs> Damn, how strong is this guy? This guy might be the strongest Batman villain out of nowhere. Like, what? Bummer. No shot, you still swung. That's crazy. If you really want to know, an agent of the Kyrian Emirates. The bugs in the room picked up the whole story on tape. When we collared the Kyrian agent at the airport, he sang like a bird, and he fingered you as the guy who was going to sell him the bonds. Confinement will speed your reform, but long cold nights will be the norm. So here is a thing to keep you warm. Man is evil. But Loki, I'll be kind of, I'll be like, hey, wait a day. He gave me a. I'll be... <laughs> nah, I don't know why that would make me happy to get. That's why I got to do to commit a. Like to get a Batman cow, bro. Commit a crime. Looks enticing. Just, hey, don't judge me. Probably never gonna see this guy ever again, and he's.
probably went off villain because like I already forgot his name. But yeah, he just seems like the the bummy version of the Riddler. <laughs> like this was probably like their first idea. And it's like, huh, we can probably turn this character into something. That's what this is. That first part then when Batman and we saw the other guy, was that like weeks prior? Or like, I'm assuming that he went on vacation and then Batman just pretended to be him this whole time. He got me, bro. He got me. I really thought that was, I thought Batman lost and I'm like, huh. so they're going to run in again a third time. Episode's a little bit longer than I thought, but I'm like, okay, let's go. I want to see what he does this time. Nope. He stood up. I'm like, bro, you just wanted to wear it. You weirdo. And then his voice changed and I'm like, huh? And then the mask went down and I'm like, huh? What's going on? Like this man, Batman, oh, he's too good. Let's, let's clock in a few moments before this man said, he's just a human. You were saying that's a Batman. I know, damn well under his mask, he said. <laughs> just a human, huh? <laughs> oh, buddy. <laughs> oh, bro, that's crazy to me. Big play from Batman, honestly. I would have never thought of this. Wait, so he also went into those traps knowingly. So you were just betting he doesn't kill you. You were just hoping like all he wants is the cap, the cape and cow. Well, I was like, hmm, you know what? Never mind. I think I'll take out the Batman. <laughs> I feel like we should just got our information the old style. You feel me? Just as soon as that man walked in the door, hit him in the throat. <laughs> I'm like, all right, when you recover, I'm going to ask you some questions. <laughs> so yeah, so yeah, I mean, that's what have been my go to right there. I mean, he's a criminal. This guy's a psychopath. The the woman on the train track, he got me. I, I was kind of figuring out, like, maybe this isn't real. And then, I don't know, bro. I doubted myself. I'm like, ah, it looks kind of real. How good are holograms or projectors that they be fooling people? No. <laughs> At least for the next 40 years. Oh, okay, well, 40 years is great. At least for the next 10 to 20 years, it can't be that good, bro. And this is probably shot more in the past. I don't know what the year is in batman so but it can't be that good <laughs> that they even fooled this man bruce like, come on now but great episode thank you for watching i really appreciate it and catch you guys next time for another video peace peace bye bye have a great day